Fringe Artists. Welcome to GLIP, an online program that helps us all communicate together while staying organized. This small tutorial will navigate you through the site, so let's get started. Well, first of all, you're going to receive an invite in your email from GLIP that will say, Amanda Dodge added you to the Chicago Fringe Network GLIP. Go ahead and open it up and click on the button that says join them on GLIP now. Congratulations, your account has been created and you are now connected to Amanda Dodge. That's me. So you are just going to start your login and create your information on here. So let's go. First name, let's just put test and last name account. So under the job title, instead of putting an actual job title, you would put the name of your show. So let's put amazing show. If you have a picture, go ahead and put it in here. You can upload a photo or drag it in. Next, you can go ahead and do any kind of notifications enabling and then go through that. Now, since it's only you as the person who is the contact for your show, we ask that you don't add any other people. Just simply click next, choose a password. Let's see, I'm gonna choose this. And done. So now you are in. So let's take a look at the left-hand panel. The first thing you will see is your name at the top. Test account right there. Um, and if you click on your name, it'll provide a drop-down. And feel free to set your preferences to whatever you like. You can update your profile and check out the dashboard. The dashboard is very helpful if you want to see what tasks that you need to do um, or things that you've set in your calendar. For example, the application due date. So below your name, you will see the people section. Now well, these are all of the fringe artists as well as a couple of fringe staffers. If there's a green dot next to their name, they are online. You can click a name of the person that you wanna to talk to and begin chatting with them. Since this is a basic version of GLIP we're using, please don't use the video chat program through GLIP if you'd like to video chat with fellow artists, please get their contact info and use programs like FaceTime, Google Hangouts, or Skype. So basically, you can open it up. Hi, Amanda. And you'll come through as a chat. Below people is Teams. Now this is a great place for joining chats and gathering more information. The green room is there for everyone to join in and chat about the upcoming festival. If you wanna be part of other teams, you can click on Teams, and then you can join the teams. We have Fax. So Fax is a place where you can ask questions and get answers. There is a note document in the folder, already answering some frequently asked questions. We will keep adding more and more when we get them. Now, marketing, if you go into Teams and select Marketing Ideas and join that, marketing has a video from a previous seminar already set in, but please feel free to communicate with other artists on what works for you and share some ideas. So the next thing moving on is groups. Now this can come in handy for creating conversations between groups of people. For example, maybe you are a solo artist who wants to create a group with other solo artists and have discussions on the joys of being a solo artist. Create a way. Moving down, you'll find the calendar. There are some dates on there that we have created for you, but feel free to utilize the calendar for all your fringe needs. The task sections is another great way of helping you stay on top of fringe docs. Per our other video, we gave a helpful hint about completing a form per week, and you can create a task and have it remind you to do so. Simply just hit new task and complete docs. Due date. Now 
You can create tasks for yourself and you might even see some tasks in there assigned by the staff as well to help you remind you of some things. Under there is the links section. Under the links section, you will find the list of links that have been posted. Most importantly, you will find the links to the forms that you will need to complete. And once again, those forms are housing survey, marketing survey, the tech specs, and the final checklist. You can also sort the links that have been posted by folders or who posted them by selecting the drop down. And of course, if you select all links, you will see all of the documents coming soon. The notes section can be used for several different things. I use it to create some frequently asked questions. I also use it to write down ideas. And you can keep your notes to yourself or share with others. Yeah. Files! <laughs> you will find two files already uploaded here. These are the documents that you'll need to complete. There's the participation and W9. Uh, please do not upload your completed docs into this folder. You should password protect them and then send them over to Adrian Golden. And her email address is adrian at chicagofringe.org. So that is Glip. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask. Or you can go to the facts team section and get some answers. But we will always follow up at our earliest convenience. Thanks.